Frank and Lillian Gilbreth, Management Scholars. Frank and Lillian Gilbreth are best known for their research and contributions on the topic of scientific management. Using his bricklaying business as a case study, Frank expanded on Frederick Taylor's theory of scientific management. Rather than focus on the time factor in employee productivity, Gilbert highlighted the importance of the human factor. By developing motion study, he concluded that wasted motion would result in worker fatigue and decreased productivity. In response, Frank sought processes that would improve the task at hand, increase efficiency, and benefit the worker. These processes included estimating costs for bids, cost keeping, establishing rules to benefit workers such as no smoking on the job, establishing a suggestion system, rewarding ideas that would increase productivity, documenting safety incidents using photography for any accidents, and developing a, an appraisal system for employees known as the whitelist card that supervisors were responsible for filling out. Through his studies, Frank became an expert in efficiency. After finding it difficult for the human eye to follow human motions, he developed two techniques to overcome the problem. Seventeen basic motions, known as Thurblig, included motions such as search, select, position, and hold, could be subdivided to allow for a more precise analysis of the exact elements of any worker movements. Second, Micromotion utilized a motion picture camera to study the movements of workers guided by a clock rather than a stopwatch and could document completed work. Lillian Gilbreth shifted her academic interests to psychology and drafted her doctrinal thesis on the psychology of management, which stressed that management must be more of the person than of the work, and that effective industrial training and education would help the workers make better use of their abilities. The book was a comparison between scientific management and traditional management, and expounded the virtues of scientific management in motivating the worker and emphasized the importance of the human factor in its application. Lillian's academic research complemented the motion studies completed by her husband. Even after Frank's death, she continued working with managers, engineers, and educators on matters related to the correlation between efficiency and productivity. So, how did Frank and Lillian's ideas fit into the management conversation of their day? Thurblig, the study of motion economy in the workplace, was the brainchild of Frank Gilbreth and is a major part of scientific management, which was first credited to Frederick Taylor. There were significant differences between the methodologies of the two, but essentially both approaches sought the same outcome of reducing the motion required in a physical process in order to increase efficiency. This management style was widely accepted by managers of the day, and the results led to the concept of reinventing workflow and job descriptions using analytical methods to remove extraneous movements, thus increasing produ productivity. Frank and Lillian's work helped managers to create job standardization and job simplification. This was essential in many industries, but it's easiest to imagine in the process of setting up an assembly line, such as Ford's, between 1908 and 1915. After Frank Gilbreth's death in 1924, at age 55, his wife continued his work. However, where Frank focused on the technical aspects, Lillian focused more on the human aspects of time management. She is credited as being the first to recognize the effects of stress and fatigue in regard to time management. Unfortunately, 
her theories were not widely accepted at the time. They did, however, indicate the direction of modern management. Today's managers employ many of the human aspects of Lillian's theories, including financial incentives and job satisfaction. Impact. Frank and Lillian Gilbert are credited with inventing the time motion study and workplace ergonomics, whereby they sought to streamline workplace operations by minimizing the number of steps it takes to complete a task, thereby maximizing productivity and efficiency while minimizing worker fatigue and stress. Time motion studies have largely disappeared in the modern workplace. However, the overall objectives of these studies of streamlined operations and maximum efficiency are central in maintaining a cohesive and well-oiled business and remain very much present today. Lillian Gilbreth focused her work on workplace psychology and sought to encourage workers through pay incentives and other worker benefits while paying close attention to a worker's overall job satisfaction. She was very focused on the individual worker and sought to make the worker at the center of the operation. While her husband prior to his death focused on his studies on the manufacturing workplace environment, Lillian sought to extend their philosophies to other industries and became a regular on the speaking circuit on her theories. She also consulted for companies such as Johnson & Johnson and Macy's in their management departments. Her visions were considered ahead of her time and are important ideals in today's workplace. Ideas reflected in current organizations. The theories and inventions pioneered by Lillian and Frank Gilbreth are manifest in today's business environment in numerous ways. The emphasis on efficiency can be seen in each and every business, even more decidedly in our current economic situation. Finding innovative ways to do more with less is essential to competing in this difficult environment. Streamlined operations of job tasks are a focus and necessity especially in faller, smaller firms where manpower is limited and time is scarce. Employees are encouraged to prioritize their work, to align it with the corporate mission, and to simplify. At the same time, the satisfaction of employees is crucial to a thriving business. Having employees enjoy their work with less stress increases efficiency, encourages innovation, and enables both the employer and the employee to succeed. And finally, one of the key findings that both Frank and Lillian recognized was the importance of the award and appraisal system. Whether it meant more leisure time or additional financial compensation, Frank and Lillian both recognized the valuable impact that the reward system could have on productivity. It's important for today's managers to not lose sight of this principle. While expecting an employee to do more work, a reward system makes the additional effort worthwhile.